Bernard, what is a key performance indicator? A key performance indicator basically is a tool that companies use to understand how well they're doing. And KPIs are used for, by managers to understand how well a company is doing and used by external investors to also understand how the business is doing. So could you give me an example of a good key performance indicator? Yes. One of the things I've just done is written a book on key performance indicators, uh, the 100 KPIs every manager needs to know about. And what we've tried to do is bring the most important KPIs in use together into one book. And for example, financial indicators, you might want to look at your revenue growth, your top line, or your net profit margin, your bottom line performance. In terms of customers, you might want to look at your net promoter score, so to what extend are people prepared to re uh, recommend your business to someone else, or you might want to look at your, your brand equity. In terms of operational, you might want to look at Six Sigma performance or supply chain performance, or you might have KPIs around employee engagement. So there are a whole host of possible indicators depending on your strategy. Could you give me a good example of a key performance indicator? What makes a good performance indicator will depend on your strategy. A commonly used indicator is something like customer satisfaction, where you say how satisfied are our customers. Other common indicators are things like are we growing our income and revenue, are we making a profit as a company. Other common, commonly used indicators are do we have the right people, are they engaged, are our staff happy. So they are all possible KPIs uh, possible KPIs companies can use. Okay, I've heard it said that a key performance indicator is about what matters. But how do we measure what matters? We, we, you start with your strategy, and once you're clear about this, and you can use tools like a balanced scorecard to articulate your strategic priorities. Once you've done this, you then sit down and articulate your key performance questions. So companies like Google, for example, have done this very successfully, where they've narrowed down the questions they want to have an answer to, to a vital few. And then they use those questions to design a set of indicators. And what's the key problem with key performance indicators? There are many problems. A massive problem is our addiction to data in our companies, where we basically measure everything that walks and moves. When it comes to KPIs, organizations don't differentiate with the masses of data they have available and what is really strategic relevant and is giving them the vital bits of information they need to understand how well they're performing. So they are reporting and measuring lots of stuff, but very little is really relevant. So what we need to do is we need to engage the executive teams in helping them to understand what it is they need to know. What are the reasons for measuring all these things? There are a number of different reasons why we would have KPIs in our companies. The most important one is to learn and improve. Where we say, we want to collect data to monitor how well we are executing our strategy and we want to get a sense for whether we're going off the track. Like our doctor would check our cholesterol level over time and if it goes up, we need to do something about this. Then there are other reasons why we collect and report data in our companies, which is for external reporting and governance reasons. This basically means we have to produce financial statements and financial reports. We have to maybe as a government organization report our performance to central government. So what is important here is that we understand that the only reason we are doing this is because we have to, because someone else requires us to do this legally, but this is not necessarily the same information that we will need internally to make our, our decisions. 
I think they're the, the, the two key reasons. So should we actually focus on what we can measure? Should an organisation focus on what it can measure? The thing is, we very often assume that we can me only measure the things we can easily count, like how much money have we in the bank, how many customers have walked through our door, but there are other things that are really important that we also need to capture. And what we need to understand in terms of measuring performance is the balance between what we can count and asking people's opinion and their judgment. And we need to balance this out. A very good example comes from a company that wanted to measure the relationship it had with its suppliers. This is a, a blue ship company that changed its strategy for measuring their suppliers in a way of are they delivering to us what we want to one where they say we need to develop win-win relationships with our suppliers. They couldn't quite figure out how to measure this so they did a little search, found a company that specialized in doing surveys in this area. This company then started to measure performance for them. They would even analyze it and give them the, the end report. And when I investigated this a little bit and spoke to some of the, the people inside the organization, they were very happy. When I spoke to some of their suppliers, they were very unhappy because they were saying, I'm getting really annoyed with them because two times a year they sent me this six page long survey, which takes me days to complete. And I have no idea how this is any relevant to what we do. So they then realized that this was not the best approach. And they said, we have all this data, the big survey, all the statistics, but very little insights. And they moved from something very expensive, very complex, to something really simple, because they realized that they have account managers. Why can't they just ask those account managers what the relationship is like with this supplier on a regular basis? When they went back to their information needs, they also realized that they wanted to establish trends. And they wanted to pick up signals as soon as possible. Therefore, they're now doing this on a monthly basis. Because if you have six months of deteriorating relationships, by the time you find out, it might be too late. So this company now, by email, surveys their key account managers on a monthly basis, just asking a simple question, how well are we doing with this supplier in terms of our relationship? They tick a box, it's a simple box between 1 and 10, and add little comments, I picked 8 because of X and Y. And for the first time, they're now getting all this information that is relevant. They said, we don't just want this internally, we also want some external views. They sent the same email now to their suppliers, and they only tick a box. The database then compares the two numbers that are coming in. If externally they said six and internally they said picked eight, it will trigger a little internal email saying there's a difference in opinion. Can you please pick up the phone and speak to them? And this for me is a perfect example of how companies have moved from measuring a lot of stuff to measuring something that is really key and relevant to them. Okay, so how does a company go about designing its KPIs? What you do is you start with your strategy. So you can use tools like the Balanced Scorecard or others to design your strategy. Once you have your strategic objectives, you then articulate the questions that you want to have an answer to. And usually you have between one and two questions per strategic objective that then say, this, this is what we need to know. And then once you have this, you design your KPIs. And so within an individual KPI, what, are the, what information needs to be identified? He would look at key elements like, is it linked to a strategic objective? Because if not, then it's not a key performance indicator. Do I have a question that this indicator is helping me to answer? If not, again, it's not a key performance indicator. Once you're clear of why you're collecting it and what, how it will help you to answer your questions, you can then move on and say, OK, now I need to go into the detail. How will I collect the data? Where's the data coming from? How often do I need to collect this to be relevant? So there are some of the basics. But then you would also want to think about how 
will this be reported in the future? And things like um, what will be the target and the benchmark? So every indicator, you need to set boundaries for this, indicating this is good performance, this is bad performance. So you can use things like traffic lights later on to report against performance. Sometimes key performance indicators have been represented as being just measuring the past. Is there any way that they can look forward? How do indicators help me to look at the future is all about how they are being used. And this is where questions come in again. Because if you phrase the questions right, they will be future orientated. They will be questions like to what extent or how well are we going to make a profit, deliver to our customers, perform well internally. And indicators are then being used. So you're trying to establish leading indicators that will point to better performance in the future. So by having the right indicators around your customers, around your internal operations, around your employees, this will all point hopefully to better f or a predictive indicator for future potential future performance. So this is what you do. You, in every individual section, you design indicators that try to point into the future by answering the question. And overall, you have a good set of leading and lagging indicators. And Bernard, where would I get more information on this? There's a lot more information on our website. There are free to download white papers, case studies, we have white papers that explain how you design a key performance indicator. There are white papers on how you use and design key performance questions. We have white papers and lots of case studies on how companies use key performance indicators and tools like balance scorecards. So this is a, a very useful resource for people to, to delve into. Thank you very much, Bernard. You're very welcome.